a Winnipeg woman is proving that kindness is contagious. In an effort to make the world a better place, my next guest is also bringing out the good we have locally with her movement, Global Holistic Healing. Welcome, Katie Christie. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have you here because I'm going to have uh, some full disclosure. Your father is joining us as well right now. (laughs) He's just sitting and watching you, Bruce Christie guidance counselor at Garden City Collegiate when I went there, and he still remembers my birthday. Of course. He pays attention when people talk. Oh, yeah. So this he is everyone's birthday. His, his kindness has been contagious to you, too. Yeah, my parents are so kind and wonderful. What is going on with this? I, I call it a movement, your global, holist, your global holistic healing. Um, it first started out with I knew that I wanted to go to Latin America, Um, And I thought, okay, I'll do one bake sale, and with that money, I'll do random acts of kindness in Latin America with it. Um, And then it turned into a whole stream of events, and uh, I I literally gave away a lot of my possessions. I was going through stuff, and I just feel that materialism doesn't work anymore, and it's just – it's too hectic. Like I couldn't even keep my room organized with all the stuff that I had. So I filled up six suitcases of of stuff to give away and originally I was going to send it with friends to bring down and meet me there with it but then that morning I decided you know what I'm just going to bank on it and I'm going to bring all these six suitcases to the airport and Do you know how much the luggage fees are for that <laughs> I'm cringing for you <laughs> honestly I knew something inside me told me you can do this I just I was like I've got to get this stuff to these people and I'm going to give it my all and I'm going to do whatever it takes and I'm going to get it there and where there's a will there's a way I'm getting this done so I got to the airport I was on no no sleep 20 minute nap um and I asked the lady I'm like please I need to talk to someone high up at WestJet that is going to be able to allow me to bring these six large suitcases I couldn't even really carry them all when my friend dropped me off I was like oh oh, wait how many carts did you have with you um one but everything was falling and it was (laughs) I was laughing. I was like, I am ridiculous. Like, this is insane. And when my friend dropped me off, he's like, I was like, oh, wait. And he's, oh, but I thought you said you could do it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) Now I really got to do it. Okay. Um, So the lady said that it was up to one of the ticket agents at the front. So I asked her which one of them has the biggest heart. (laughs) <laughs> very smart <laughs> yes and she she was kind of glancing at them like over and over and it took her a while and I'm she like, took it very seriously yeah yeah and i'm like oh frig do none of them have big hearts like like this is not good and then all of a sudden she's like okay the guy over there victor and she's like and tell him hey i hear you have a big heart and i was like okay awesome i like the sounds of this um so i was waiting for this guy i feel like you're setting up a new promotional campaign here <laughs> for this airline i feel like i feel like it's coming advertisers should should be listening. Amazing. I, I wish it is unbelievable. They helped me so much. Um, and so I'm waiting for this guy and I'm trying to kind of glance at him and maybe maybe give him a smile, Like, but he doesn't really notice or anything. But And I get towards the front and I, I re- he's caught up with a family for probably about 20 minutes. Um, so I just keep having to let people pass me and explain to them what I'm doing. I'm like, I've got to get these bags to Dominican. Um, can you pass? i got to go to this guy because he's got a big heart and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then this one ticket guy in front of me, he was like, what's wrong with me? Because I wouldn't go to him every time he was open. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. It's nothing against you. Like, like, oh, I'm just not ready yet. And like, I'd pretend to take a phone call or like go through something in my six bags. And I rearrange. feel like I'm watching your story on TV as you're describing it to me and it's getting really exciting. It's really exciting. It gets even better. Um, and this guy keeps becoming available and he keeps looking at me being like, are you com- going to come to me now? I'm like, no, not yet. No, your heart's not big. Enough. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So then, um, and then eventually he's like, no, you, he points at me. He's like, get over here. You're coming to me right now, whether you like it or not. And I was like, no, 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 please, sir. Please, like, I can't. And he's like, what? please don't give me customer service. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, yeah, most. <laughs> please don't force your customer service upon me in this age of zero customer service. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Exactly. And um, and then he, I'm like, no, please, I really, I need to see that guy over there. He's like, why? And I'm like, well, I heard that he has a really big heart. And le- unless you have a really big heart, too. And then he's like, actually, I have a really big heart. Like, what do you need? I'll do whatever you need. Like, just tell me, like, oh, <laughs> I'm here to help. And I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, okay. And something inside me went like, ding ding and this is kind of a lesson even in itself like you may be waiting for that one thing that you think is so great when there's really something else even better for you right 
because this this guy actually helped me probably even more than the other guy was able to. So I told him I got really intense and I slammed down a newspaper article written about me on the table. And I'm like, listen, sir, I've been putting my whole heart and soul into this and I got to get to these bags, to these people. I know how much happiness all of this stuff is going to bring and I've got to get it there. Like, And I, I've been working so hard to fundraise all this money and I have so many ideas of other stuff that I want to do with it when I'm down there. And I really, I would love to not pay for it it in shipping to bring these bags um and then he's like okay don't worry don't worry all the bags are totally taken care of that's not even like an issue he's like but tell me more about what you're doing i'm like well i really i want to spread kindness i want to um take people from a transition from pain to peace and just help them detox their bodies and teach them what i've learned with my holistic nutrition background and just spreading love and also facilitating i think it's more beneficial if i actually um secretly uh, give somebody else money to do some kindness for someone else. I think that's a lot more powerful than some white girl coming in and, and giving someone money. I, I don't think that actually means a lot. I think it's a lot better to kind of spread the kindness within the community itself. So I was telling him what I was, what I was doing. And he's like, wow, I love um, paying it forward and kindness and I'm a big believer in all that stuff. So I would actually like to pay some kindness to you and give you a buddy pass for you to get from Winnipeg to Dominican for like you would only pay the taxes, which is like $100. And Oh my goodness. I was so thrilled. I was telling uh, the flight attendants on the airline how excited I was. And I was like, WestJet is the best airline ever. I was so <laughs> pumped. And then uh, someone beside me overheard me and was like, actually, I work for WestJet too. And I, I just, I can't help but overheard your conversation. And I'm going to email my buddies at the care team. They're the ones that put on that. I don't know if anyone saw, but that lovely Christmas video that WestJet did. It was so amazing. Where they were Santa for everybody. Yeah. It is 1.39. Do you feel, Katie... Katie Christie's kindness, there's too much alliteration in that sentence, so I'm tripping over the words, but do you feel Katie Christie's kindness spreading? It's contagious. She's telling the story right now of what's happening with her global holistic healing movement and how trying to spread some kindness into the Dominican Republic ended up bringing a whole bunch of kindness out of people here locally. So you're at the counter at WestJet. Not only does the guy give you a pass on these six bags of Mm -hmm. luggage that you're taking so that you can bring some donations to the people in the south, but they are also now offering you a buddy pass. Then you get on the airplane and somebody else from WestJet is there and she was part of that. She has friends on that whole, he was friends with the whole team that made that viral move, that viral video about them being coming Santa Claus to a whole bunch of people. What happens next? And then I'm in Ottawa and they mentioned that the flight to Winnipeg is canceled. And I'm a, and I'm a big believer in just embracing whatever happens, no matter what it is, because if you can't change it, then what's the point in crying about it and feeling bad about it? Just embrace it. So for me, um, a lot of other, other people were like, oh, do you know who I am? I'm supposed to be in Cancun right now. Da, da, da. And just like this poor messenger, like it's not their fault that they have to deliver this news. Like, I'm sorry, but just embrace it. They were putting us all up in a hotel and giving us $40 to spend on food. I think that's pretty awesome. So I gave the people a hug and said, thanks so much. I'm so excited for an adventure in Ottawa. This is great. And they said that they love my attitude and they bumped me up to first class and they, they <laughs> wish that more people were were like that. So I just I think that it'd be awesome if, if people just embrace whatever happened, no matter what it is. And and then when I landed in Winnipeg, I told another West Jetter uh, the story and she said, well, did he give you a buddy pass to get home? Her name's Debbie Bruce. She's a Winnipegger. And then she offered me a buddy pass to get home. And so I have my way there. I have my way home. Um, you know what? I've said this before, that there's a new currency and this currency is coming from our social good. And it's actually going to start, it's it's starting to get measured online and it's going to become a currency in the new economy. And you're proving it right now that yep. social good is a currency. Totally. Kindness is contagious. More that. with Katie Christie <laughs> coming up. It's 146 and kindness is spreading. Winnipeg woman Katie Christie is with me right now. She has global holistic healing it is her new movement and it started by taking things to the dominican republic getting a whole bunch of people from WestJet all of a sudden without even planning anything all of these people suddenly help support her cause and now you're continuing this movement also locally and you just had a free wellness seminar yeah i just had it last night and i had no idea how i was going to do it i've 
I'm scared of public speaking. I think the last presentation I did, I got a doctor's note and got out of it because I was scared. But this time I'm like, you know what? I have this information. I've got to deliver it to these people because I feel that we're wrecking our environment. We're wrecking our bodies. And I just want to help people heal themselves, heal each other and heal the planet. And because when you're feeling whole and complete, um, you're harmonized with who you truly are to shine as brightly as you're meant to shine. And I just want to help people get in touch with that because I think that there's good in everybody and I just want to help. So what exactly happened at your wellness seminar? Um, well, actually, four amazing businesses. Um, well, firstly, Radiance, the store on Corden, they uh, allowed me to use their room uh, to do the seminar. And Organza, uh, Planet Organic Worker Co-op, Charisma of India Restaurant, and the Hollow Reed Holistic all donated food to be uh, so that I could serve food at the event. And I gave everyone copper tongue scrapers. I actually brought one for you today as well. Um, it's a great way to detoxify your mouth and, and remove all the mucus. I've never even heard tongue. of a copper tongue scraper. Yeah, neither had I until a couple of months ago. But I think that they're just amazing. They're great for oral health. And I want to distribute many in Latin America as well. So what exactly is holistic healing itself? It is basically healing your body your body mind and spirit so not it's not only about the food right it's also about the mind and just quietening your mind and getting into things like meditation and yoga and healing with whole foods like really getting back to nature and eating organic real food things that's actually going to nourish us and feed our cells because everything that we do is either contributing to life or death every decision that you make so if you're putting something like in a microwave it's like i know they say they're safe but they're the ones selling them to you so don't eat food that's out of a microwave like that is not food it totally changes the proteins and it's something that your body doesn't even recognize as food um whereas like organic fruits and vegetables like that stuff nourishes us like starting the day with warm lemon water and then a wheatgrass shot and then like a green smoothie you're going to be flying for the rest of the day and you'll have so much energy for yourself and to share with others and i just want to help people with that Holistic he healing is a conversation I'm having with Katie Christie, but it's gone into different directions because it doesn't just heal yourself. When you were on a quest to heal yourself, that turned into a quest by getting rid of all of your clutter and surroundings. Yeah. You decided to donate that Definitely. to people in South America. And then that ended up putting you not only on a, a cleaner, healthier, more holistic route as you found it, but it contributed kindness to people somewhere else Definitely. and then it brought out kindness so there was an entire chain this holistic healing movement that you've started global holistic healing it's created a chain so you're helping yourself Definitely. you're helping the community and then your actions are also helping people globally yes and i mean i'm not trying to solve the world's problems with giving people things because i don't think that that's going to work but it's just it's one less thing that they have to buy you know and i like i'm going to make sure that i distribute it in the best way possible with locals like i'm it won't be just me doing it um because i'm collaborating with dominicans down there and we're going to be uh running actually in toronto i run uh and winnipeg i run events uh called soul feast events where there's meditation yoga and i make everyone a giant vegan gluten-free feast and we do uh, some meditation we pretty much if anyone say their father has cancer then we'll send that person love because we truly can change the planet with sending people good energy like have you ever had something where you're thinking about someone and then they give you a phone call mm -hmm. yeah so we're totally connected like we totally are and we can actually change situations like nuclear bombs have not gone off because there's been seven thousand people meditating and that they've actually changed the consciousness of the machine you can look it up it's not crazy talk like i probably wouldn't even believe myself if i heard myself talking about this a couple of years ago um because i personally a couple of years ago i ate so much dairy so much gluten um sugar oh my god i was a sugar fiend i would climb up in the cupboards and had to take spoons you're climbing of white in cupboards sugar. with sugar Yes, I was so unhealthy. You ate spoonfuls of spoonfuls. sugar? Yeah, you can ask my dad. Yeah. And uh, they had to He's hide it from me. I was crazy. So, um, and since cleaning my own body, it just, I feel so much better. And I just, I want other people to feel as good. Now, I know not everybody, it would be on the same wavelength. Not everybody is perhaps as into holistic healing as you may be, but there are small steps yes, that help exactly. in other ways that can be tailored towards how people feel. For instance, just when you decluttered the items in your house and then you 
offered those to people in the, the Dominican Republic. Yes. So you decluttered your life and you helped other people's lives and it didn't even yeah. involve needing to drink anything vegan. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. There's so many different things you can do. And like at the seminar last night, I even talked about body language and crossing your arms. It's just not a very open thing. And looking at people's eyes, like if you're talking to three people, look into each person's eyes, all three, 33 percent, 33 percent, 33 percent eye contact. It's just polite. Don't just look at the one person. So I just want people to be aware of or if you see someone feeling left out, include them. So this whole thing is just about putting love into everything you do, just being more kind and putting love into your cooking because that totally Really changes the food. That's why my mama's food always tastes so exactly. good. And also she is a really good cook. I can't yes. take that away from her. Katie so Christie true. and the Global Holistic Healing Movement. Your next your next plan? Um, I would love for anyone who is interested in anything uh, that I'm saying and wants to better themselves, uh, if they like my Facebook page, they can access it, www.globalholistichealing.org. I actually shared a link from your Facebook page on 680 CJOB's Facebook page oh, so they can you. get there quickly really just that. by putting that in. And I'll also put it up on my show page on cjob.com. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. Um, because I just want to keep sharing with people what I'm learning and all of the healing wisdom that I learn in Latin America because they know so much there. So I just, I want to share with them what I know and learn from them so that I can share with people here. And I'm going to be making lots of videos and blogs and just... WestJet should have made a video of what happened with you because that would probably go just as viral as their Santa Claus video once. Oh, actually my friend, uh, he wrote a song for me and included... Uh, WestJet. And it's on your Facebook page also. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll post it later tonight. So people will be able to find it there. Thank you yeah, so much, really Katie Christie, for joining Thank me you. today. And to your dad, Bruce Christie, for sitting there and just watching us. Um, I'm also looking for anyone uh, who would like to donate some clothes or um, toiletries, jewelry, sports equipment, maybe Manitoba sport or staples, school supplies um, that I would love to, to somehow get it down there and maybe even collaborate with FedEx if they would like to ship. I have an idea on Valentine's Day. My mom is a school teacher and all of her students make boxes of donations of school supplies. And I would love for that to be sent to the school that I'm at, maybe in Costa Rica, and uh, Skype both schools so that her students can see that they can actually make a really big impact and see how far that goes and how much it's appreciated. Katie Christie has plans to help globally. If you want to use your kindness locally, you can check her out on my cjob.com slash Dahlia page. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so, so much. And coming up, get ready to call 204-780-6868. I'm going to be giving you a test if you're so good at self-diagnosis with Dr. Google, now's the time to test your skills after the news. A Winnipeg woman is pre-